if you have not heard about YouTube beauties welcome back to my channel today we are doing the no mirror makeup challenge and I'm terrified oh I'm so nervous I have not heard about this challenge it's where you try and do all of your makeup without a mirror without your viewfinder anything and you see how good or bad mine's most likely gonna be bad see how good or bad you end up doing your makeup without a mirror so yeah, that's all I have to say before this becomes a mess. Hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching and wish me luck. Okay, so I am going to turn my viewfinder off and I'm actually really scared. Yeah, so let's just wear it. I lose everything so quickly and it's just like, where do you even go? All right, well, I'm gonna put my hair up. Okay, so first I'm gonna start off with my primer, and this is the Laura Mercier um, Foundation Primer in the Radiance one. So I'm just gonna rub this on my face. Going with the Maybelline Dream Wonder Foundation. Hopefully this is the right shade. The only thing I hate about this foundation is like, what am I supposed to do with this little ball? I, that's how, how do you apply foundation with that? Guess I'm just gonna, oh, I almost hit my lip. Just put it on. Hopefully it's, hopefully I'm getting it all on there. I don't know how much to put cause I don't know how much is transferring. Should make like a little smiley face on my face. That was the best smiley face you've ever seen. I'm gonna take this flat top kabuki brush, the F80 from Sigma, and just. Oh god, okay. Just start buffing this in. I don't know where to look. Uh, I hope this is getting blended. Is it like the longer I blend, the more confident I should be? I think we're about as blended as we can be. I'm gonna go in with the Tarte Rainforest of the Sea Aqua Sealer. And I actually got this on um, QVC. They were doing like a special before it even launched. And this is the applicator. I'm kind of in love with it. Oh, and I'm just gonna grab this, the brush that came with it, the double-ended brush. Oh. <laughs> Hopefully that's enough, cause that's all I'm putting. Ah! Sorry if I'm like staring you guys down. I don't know where to look. We're gonna take the bigger side of the brush. This brush I kind of regret using because, um, because it's so small, it's a little more of a risky chance that things will be blended correctly. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing. I don't know what I'm doing. Oh, that that is hopefully done. We're gonna hope. I'm gonna go in with this Wet and Wild Contouring Palette Contour. That's literally what it's called in Caramel Toffee. And I'm gonna take this, uh, I'm gonna take this banana shade right here. I'm just gonna take a big fluffy brush. This is the Real Techniques powder brush. 
and with the MAC Mineralized Skin Finish in Light Plus, and there is a mirror on this, but I can't, I can't see myself, so I'm just gonna like hide it. MAC Painterly Paint Pot, and wish there was a mirror in this and I could see myself. I'm just gonna take some and prime my eyelids. Oh god, I have to try and do my eyebrows. Yeah, a face really wasn't that bad at all. No idea if I'm getting this in my eyebrow or not. Probably am. Hopefully that looks good. Now while that sets, we are gonna attempt to do our brows. And I'm just gonna use the Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Definer. The only thing I'm confident about is like doing the little spoolie part. So like, if my brow starts here, that's right, right? My gut is telling me I'm really messing up my eyebrows. Feel it. Feel it. Do it. Oh, I could feel that was wrong. How far in do my eyebrows go? Okay, let's just take a big fluffy brush and go into... I'm gonna go into this shade right here and I don't know what it's called. Beaches and Cream. Ugh. Oh. Okay, it's just blending. It's gonna be okay. Just blend till you feel like you can't blend anymore and then you're probably okay. Yeah, I'm gonna take this guy right here by Makeup Geek. These are all Makeup Geek shadows, by the way. And this one I'm gonna take is Creme Brulee. Do the same thing that I did with Beaches and Cream. Oh, that's so not where I wanted to put that. I'm gonna go pretty bold with my eyeshadow just because I feel like you go big or you go home. All right, I, you blended? Feel like you're blended. I'm gonna take Cocoa Bear by Makeup Geek again and just roughly just put this in like the outer V. Like that's dark enough but no maybe I, I don't feel like it's dark enough for the star of the show I'm gonna use color pops super shock shadow in shameless Ooh, it's so pretty it's like this green uh, sparkly it's got blue and almost yellow reflex like glitters in it take a uh, cocoa bear again and just try and like blend it out and save this eye look if I can let us try some winged liner oh god I'm gonna regret this aren't I <laughs> all right like I royally screwed that up okay I am going to take cocoa bear and uh, peach smoothie again and just put that on the lower lash line and we just blend it out because that's going to make everything better I'm gonna put just a black liner I just gonna use the Marc Jacobs highlighter just because this is the bomb Dot com, but I can't get the lid off of it. Oh, this is the scary part. A 
mascara on. Just, oh God. Oh, this is terrifying. Oh, this is worse. Oh, this is not good. You know, it probably looks really good. All right, and I'm going to do the bottom lashes. I feel like if I move my face lower, I'm not gonna whack myself underneath my eye. Now I am going to take just the Morphe, oh, I thought the name disappeared, the Morphe M527, this bronzer brush and the butter bronzer from Physicians Formula. This smells, this smells so good. It smells like a pina colada and like I should be on vacation right now. Actually, my parents are going to Hawaii here in a couple days, they're not taking me. Now I'm gonna take the Hula Bronzer by Benefits. I'm gonna take this e.l.f. chiseled cheek like contour brush. All right, well hopefully that's blended. Let's just blend this out just to make sure I'm not too harsh. Next I'm gonna take this NYX blush in Chiffon. I love the packaging. It's kind of like, reminds me of like a little toy. It's kind of less stress, like almost, to not have a mirror in front of you because you're not worried about all the imperfections that you're doing on your face. I mean, I probably look like shit, but at least I'm not stressing. And lastly, I'm just gonna highlight with the Mary Luminizer because I, if anything, I wanna have highlight on fleek. Okay. Make me shine, bring back the light, make me look good again. Lastly, I'm just gonna use this Revlon Color Burst Matte Balm in Sultry. And I figured this might be the best to use because it's kind of like a crayon. You can just draw it on. But it's also pretty bold, so I don't know, maybe this was a bad decision. So that is the completed makeup challenge look. I am very eager to see how horrible I did. Let's turn my viewfinder around and we shall see. Where even is this like wing? You know, it wasn't that bad. Actually, what is on my nose? So that actually wasn't that bad. I think I missed my nose a little bit, but that's really it. Like, where did this wing go? Where is this wing? It could have been worse. And the eyebrows, they weren't that bad. So this is the up close look at my horrible, horrible no mirror makeup challenge. I just saw myself. I totally forgot to do my nose. No one told me about my nose. I look like a scarecrow. Not too shabby. Overall, it really isn't that bad minus this whole like I forgot my nose thing. So I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you enjoyed seeing me get like this. Um, it was so much fun. And if you are not already, please subscribe to my channel if you did like this video. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you have a great day or night wherever you are. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.